Malik Jackson, the Browns defensive tackle, talked about just kind of closing out games and what that Raiders game has kind of told them. It's not a positive thing, but it's a good thing in the fact that it's just stop beating ourselves, you know, executing the plays, being where you're supposed to be, and when you're called upon doing your job, you know. Um, like I said, it, it, it sucks that that's something we have to focus on, but it's also a good thing that's something we can focus on because that means it's us and we can control that and we can keep trying to control the things we can control and fix things we can fix and go out here and win games and, and, and instead of seeing uh, the, the negative side of, of these games. So, um, you know, it's what it is. Yeah, and those are things, again, control the controllables. Those are controllables, so I, I get what he's saying. Yeah, I mean, that goes back to the old adage, big-time players make big-time plays, you know, when they're absolutely needed. And, I mean, again, that situation, the last three minutes of the game, I know after the Greedy Williams interception, they had that three and out. I know you can debate that third down call all day as far as offense, but the bottom line is they make that they make that first down anyway. None of this matters. It just comes down to execution and, you know, the players doing what they have to do on the field to make those plays. And I think that's always just part of the growth and maturation of certain teams. And I think obviously the Browns, you know, jumping up from being six and 10 the year prior to 10 and six, making the, excuse me, 11 and five, making the playoffs last season. That was quite a jump. And I think they're kind of coming back down to earth a little bit, you know, still going through some struggles because now, because now, just they know they know how to get there but they just got to learn how to finish those things off and obviously you don't want to make a habit of losing close games because then it just becomes a spiral and we've seen just how many times the Browns have had chances you know to either get the game winning score or to stop someone from getting the game winning play and they, they just haven't had to get it done and in a league where talent is so close where the top teams are not separated by that much. It's who ma makes those difference in those high leverage plays more than the other guys do. Yeah, and again, little things add up.